Hello everyone. Today we shall briefly discuss on the topic of PIN photodiode. We shall first see a general overview of what are the different components of optoelectronics. Optoelectronics need sources as LEDs, LCDs and laser diodes as optical sources for electrical to optical conversion and uses light detectors as photoresistors, solar cells, phototransistors and photodiodes for optical to electrical conversion. Now we shall see an introduction to the photodetectors also called as photodiodes. When a photon of energy h nu greater than the band gap energy of semiconductor material that is h nu very very greater than the band gap energy is incident on or near the depletion region it excites an electron from the valence band to the conduction band. The electron and hole pairs generated in this process experience a high electric field in the depletion region because of reverse bias and drift towards the NNP sites. Resulting flow of current is proportional to the incident number of photons. Such a reverse bias junction therefore acts as a photodetector that converts optical energy to electrical energy and therefore is referred to as an OE converter. Photodetectors are the fundamental elements of optical receivers followed by amplifiers and conditioning circuitry. The basic requirements of a photodiode are it should have a small size, it should have an appropriate band gap energy, it should have very high sensitivity, reverse biasing voltage should be less, it should have low noise and high gain, fast response time and high bandwidth, it must have high tolerance with variation in temperature and it should be cost effective. This is a reverse bias PIN photodiode where all the absorption takes place in the depletion region. Intrinsic region can be an n type material that is lightly doped and to make a low resistance contact a doped n plus layer is added. The depletion layer width in a PIN diode does not vary significantly with bias voltage but is essentially fixed by the thickness of the intrinsic region so that the width is almost equal to the thickness. Now looking into the operation of a pin photodiode. The diffusion component of a PN photodiode can be reduced by decreasing the width of the P side and N side and increasing the width of the depletion layer. To achieve this, a layer of semiconductor, which is very lightly doped, almost intrinsic, is inserted at the PN junction. Such a structure is called as PIN photodiode. As the middle layer is intrinsic in nature, it offers a high resistance and, therefore, most of the voltage drop appears across it. Does a strong electric field exist in the middle eye region? Such a configuration results in the drift component dominating the diffusion component and therefore the response time is very good. The high electric field present in the depletion region causes photogenerated carriers to separate and be collected across the reverse bias junction. This gives rise to a current flow in an external circuit known as photocurrent which is indicated by IP in the circuit. This is the pin energy band diagram. In the depletion layer, the internal electric field sweeps the photogenerated electrons to the N side and the photogenerated holes to the P side. Drift current that flows in the reverse direction from the N side to P side. Within one of the diffusion region at the edges of the depletion layer, photogenerated minority carrier can reach the depletion layer by diffusion, then be swept to the other side by the internal field. Diffusion current that also flows in the reverse direction. In the P or N homogeneous region essentially, no current is generated because there is essentially no internal field separate the charges and a minority carrier generated in a homogeneous region cannot diffuse to the depletion layer before recombining with a minority carrier. The cutoff wavelength lambda c is given by hc by eg which is equal to 1.24 by eg in electron volt and the unit of the cutoff wavelength is micrometer. These are the properties of pin. Large absorption area. It should have a simple fabrication process. It should have a unit game. Speed dependent on width and thermally generated carriers create noise within the region. The pin diode has heavily doped P and N type region separated by an intrinsic region which is a major absorption layer. And reverse bias, it acts like a constant capacitance and forward bias, it behaves as a resistor. Used in microwave switching applications, photocurrent is greater than that in PN diode. 
high frequency operation than pn diode forward resistance of the intrinsic region decreases with intrinsic current since its forward resistance can be changed by varying the bias it can be used as modulating device for ac signals there are two types of pin photodiode the front illumination photodiode and the rear illumination photodiode front illumination photodiode is the one where the light passes through the thin p region and generates electron hole pairs in thick intrinsic layer and the rear illumination photodiode is the one where the light enters the active region through a heavily doped n plus layer this layer is transparent to the incident light because its energy gap is larger than the energy of incident photons these are the basic pin photodiode structures that we have seen just now the first is the front illumination photodiode and the second is the rear illuminated photodiode now coming on to the different pin diode structures the first structure is a diffuse type structure developed by makiuchi in the year 1990 here we have layers of silicon nitride n minus indium gallium arsenide n minus indium phosphide and plus indium phosphide and gold tin alloy near the sensitive area where light is incident in the second structure it is developed by dupes in the year 1986 here the light is incident on the micro lens and it consists of indium phosphide substrate and silicon nitride covering and n plus indium phosphide region and n indium phosphide region zinc diffuse layers the third structure is the etched meta structure developed by way in the year 1991 that consists of a gold layer ti titanium or platinum or gold or nickel layer p type indium gallium arsenide layer p type indium phosphide layer and silicon indium phosphide substrate the application of a reverse voltage to the pn junction will cause a transient current to flow as both electrons and holes are pulled away from the junction when the potential formed by the widened depletion region equals applied voltage the current will cease to flow Responsivity can be defined as the ratio of output photocurrent incident to the optical power. Quantum efficiency can be defined as the number of electron hole pairs generated by the number of incident photons, which is given by I p by q divided by p not by h nu, where I p is the incident photocurrent, q is the charge of an electron, p not is the incident optical power, h nu is the energy of a photon. Responsivity equals to I p by p naught, which is equals to eta q by h nu, whose unit is ampere per watt. Now we shall see the dependency of responsivity on wavelength for a particular photodiode where eta e h c are constant and responsivity is directly proportional to lambda. As the wavelength of the incident photon becomes larger, the energy of the photon becomes smaller than the required for exciting the electron from valence band to conduction band. As a result, the responsivity falls to zero at the particular wavelength. This wavelength above which the photons are no more absorbed by the semiconductor is known as the longer cutoff wavelength of a photodiode. Here we can see for photodiode of different materials, the cutoff wavelength are different. For silicon, it is around 1.1 micrometer. For germanium, it is around 1.7 micrometer, and for indium gallium arsenide, it is around 1.9 micrometer. Three important factors affecting the response time in pin photodiode are the the transit time of the photo carriers in the depletion region. The transit time Td depends on the carrier drift velocity Vd and the depletion layer with W and is given by W by Vd. Diffusion time of the photo carriers outside the depletion region. And the third is the IC time constant of the circuit. The circuit after the photo detector acts like IC low pass filter with a pass band given by uh, one by twice by RT CT. The rise time and the fall time of a photodiode is defined as the time for the signal to rise or fall from 10% to 90% or 90% to 10% of the final value respectively. Photodiode has uneven rise and fall times depending on absorption coefficient and junction capacitance. Junction capacitance is the product of epsilon naught epsilon r area divided by width 
of the depletion layer. Large area photo detectors have large junction capacitance, hence small bandwidth, which is the concern in free space optical receivers. The types of the noise source in uh, pin photo detectors are quantum noise, dark current noise, and the thermal noise. Quantum noise or short noise arises from the random nature of the production and collection of photo-generated electron when an optical signal is incident on a photodiode. Since the fluctuations in the number of photo-generated carriers are a fundamental property of a photo-detection process, they set a lower limit on the receiver sensitivity when all other noises are optimized. Dark current noise is the current that continues to flow through the bias circuit in the absence of the light. This is the combination of the bulk dark current, which is due to terminal generated electron and hole in the PN junction, the surface dark current due to surface defects, bias voltage, and surface area. Thermal noise is the spontaneous fluctuations due to the thermal interaction between the electrons and the vibrating ions in the conduction medium, and it is especially prevalent in resistors at room temperature. Quantum noise current is given by twice QIP V M square FM, where uh, Q is the charge of electron, IP is the photocurrent, B is the bandwidth of photodetector, M is the multiplication factor, FM is the figure of merit. Bulk dark current noise is given by twice Q ID B M square FM, where ID is the bulk dark current. And surface dark current noise is given by twice Q ILB, where IL is the surface current. Therefore, the total RMS photodetector noise current is the sum of the quantum noise current, bulk dark current noise, and surface dark current noise. And the thermal noise is given by 4KB TB by RL, where KB is the Boltzmann's constant, RL is the input resistance of an amplifier, T is the temperature, and B is the bandwidth. The signal to noise ratio is given by the product of the square of the photocurrent and the square of this multiplication factor to the sum of the square of the quantum noise current bulk dark current noise, surface dark current noise, and a thermal noise current. Now we shall see the comparison of the pin photodiode fabricated by the different mat materials. As we can see, the wavelength range for the silicon photodiode is the least, while indi indium gallium arsenide is the highest. It is the same case for responsivity as well as modulation. Whereas for dark current, the value is least for indium gallium arsenide, while maximum for germanium. And for the rise time value, for silicon lies between 0.5 to 1, for germanium lies between 0.1 to 0.5, and for indium gallium arsenide it lies between 0.05 to 0.5. And bias voltage of silicon and indium gallium arsenide is same, that is 5 volt, and for germanium it varies from 5 volt to 10 volt. Some of the applications of pin photodiodes are laser guide missiles, laser warning, laser range finders, optical free air communication, automotive anti collision of optical radar laser alignment and control systems, spectral analysis, two-color sensor, monitoring of mercury lamps for sterilization, film processing, flame monitoring, scintillator readout, spectral monitoring of art ozone layer, space applications. Advantages of pin photodiode are increasing the width of the depletion layer increases the area available for capturing light. Increasing the width of the depletion layer reduces the junction capacitance and thereby the RC time constant, yet the transit time increases with the width of the depletion layer. Reducing the ratio between the depletion length and the drift length of the device results in a greater proportion of the generated current being carried by the faster drift process. Thank you.